ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. Hey, this is James Spann. You clicked onto the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday morning, the 7th of January, and today will feel more like the 7th day of March. It's mild out. Let's go to some sky cam shots early this morning. Temperatures are generally in the 50s and a little foggy down there in Chilton County. That's our sky cam in downtown Clanton up in Walker County. There's a look at the view coming from uh, Jasper and from Mount Sheehaw. Off in the distance, you can see the lights of the community of Munford and uh, the sky mostly fair up on the big mountain this morning. See a few stars up there. Well, this is the uh, big picture across the country. We've got that monstrous western trough that has produced a variety of wild weather in recent days out west. And that will bring our next opportunity of showers and storms primarily tomorrow night. In advance of that trough, look at that blast furnace all the way from Brownsville, Texas to Detroit. Uh, temperatures as warm as they ever get this time of the year. We've got readings in the 50s up into Michigan this morning. In fact, interesting to note that Detroit is warmer than Auburn. Auburn's got 45 and Detroit has 52. And you can see all of those 60s up into uh, parts of southern Missouri and Oklahoma. But, of course, out west, big-time cold and snow out there in the Rockies. Here's a look at our watch warning map this morning. We've got winter storm warnings up for the mountains of uh, Colorado, New Mexico, Utah, Arizona. Uh, Flagstaff will likely see uh, 10 inches of snow today. And uh, around here, we've got uh, the... Uh, I believe that's a dense fog advisory or maybe a high wind advisory, one of the two, probably a high wind advisory during the day today from uh, eastern Texas up into uh, parts of Arkansas, Louisiana, advance of the trough. Now, this is good. This is the rain expected through the week, through Friday evening at 6 o'clock, and you can see uh, suggestive uh, rainfall numbers here of about 2 inches across north Alabama. Heavier totals up over the Ohio River, about three and a half inches there in the bullseye. And we've got two opportunities. We've got the event tomorrow night and the event Thursday. And that's, uh, I'd say that's about right. We've got the potential between the two systems of two inches here. What about strong storms? Well, let's look. Convective outlook for today. We've got a slight risk from northeastern Texas up to uh, St. Louis. Roughly from uh, old Lake Tawakini in Texas up to uh, the St. Louis area. And then tomorrow, a slight risk from uh, North Mississippi around Oxford up into southern sections of Illinois and Indiana. And uh, that's during the day. And I really think tomorrow night, as the storms move in here, they weaken. I think the severe weather threat here is minimal tomorrow night uh, with limited dynamics and instability. And then we note on Thursday, day four, we've got a severe weather risk over a pretty good chunk of Alabama and Mississippi, Louisiana. That should offer a better chance of uh, stronger storms and heavier rain. And we'll focus on that as we go through here. This is modeling output from the 06Z run of the GFS, valid at noon today. Got the big western trough and a ridge here across the southeastern states. And down below that, of course, the one thing you'll note today, it's going to be awfully warm out there for January. Uh, readings at are just over 70 today. And again, the uh, better opportunity for rain will be off to the west. Tomorrow, the trough begins to come out across the Plain States. At the surface, the low is near Chicago with a trailing band of showers and storms. Now, there could be a shower tomorrow afternoon over the northwestern part of the state, but more than likely, the better chance of rain comes tomorrow night. That's midnight tomorrow night. Primary surface low. Uh, north of Detroit and the band of showers and storms coming in here pretty late tomorrow night. And the line could be uh, pretty fast moving and pretty narrow. So I'm not so convinced we get a big rain event tomorrow night. And again, the chance of severe weather with that look would be minimal. And then Wednesday, we get into some drier air, but there's no Arctic air involved in this system. In fact, the weather should stay relatively mild on Wednesday. And look what's coming for Thursday, the next short wave. Uh, pretty good look to that, a negative tilt at the surface on Thursday. Now, this time, the surface low, instead of being up there at Chicago, is near Springfield, Missouri. And uh, that seems to be more of a daytime event. So that should offer a better opportunity of uh, one inch of rain there and also a better opportunity of some strong storms. And again, I'm not totally convinced that'll be a big severe weather issue, but it's something to watch as we go along this week. 
And then Friday, that thing lifts out and we uh, begin to cool down. Note the uh, colder air and the north wind. Saturday, starting off the weekend, we've got a, a big trough developing over the eastern half of the country, and uh, uh, that will allow cold air to return. And we note the Vortmax out there over western Texas. And then Sunday, that little bit of energy rotates through the trough, and you can see that patch of yellow over north Alabama. And what does it do at the surface? Well, the GFS spins up a surface storm, as it's been doing for two weeks on the 13th. This is Sunday. But uh, the last few runs have developed the surface low pretty far to the south over the Gulf of Mexico. We've got good cold air here. The 540 thickness line is down to uh, Clanton there. But... Based on this run and previous runs, the storm will be too far south to bring us any opportunity of snow here. And then Monday of next week, that lifts northeast and we stay cold. Uh, so we'll see. And again, this could change again. We're still early in the game. This is barely out of voodoo country here. And you know what I'm going to say. Let's get the system tomorrow night out of here. Let's get the system Thursday out of here. And then we can focus on that. And then uh, going out there on the 15th, this is uh, Tuesday of next week, a week from tomorrow. That's pretty cold. And another storm cranks up in the Gulf, and uh, that's a good-looking storm, but again, it stays all to the south. And then uh, out there on the uh, 19th, just wanted to show you that. Look how cold that looks over the east at the surface. Storm departing shows a chance of a few flurries in the backside of that, but again, uh, cold is the word there. And then on the 22nd, there's a moderating trend as a ridge pumps up over here. But again, the weather's going to be very active and interesting for the rest of the month, and trying to figure it out 16 days in advance is impossible, much less three or four days in advance. But it's a fun time of the year, no doubt about that. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. That's alabamawx.com if you're watching this on YouTube or iTunes. And we'll have the next video here by 3.30 today. And, of course, we invite you to watch us on television this evening. ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful Monday, and God bless. Oh,